So today let's start with chapter four, and this is about the cost behavior. So cost basically the value of consumption of uh, resources that we use for our production. Now, in our business environment, we can have lots of different type of costs. <clears throat> we can have lots of different types of cost. Now, it's, it's totally practical that lots of time, each and every cost will going to have their own particular cost behavior or their own behavior. Um, like humans, for example, costs does behave like humans as humans does have different type of behaviors depend upon their personality traits and depend upon their characteristics. Same like this, depending upon the nature or depending upon the type of the cost, they can have different sort of behaviors. Two of these behaviors we already have seen in chapter number one, which was fixed, fixed cost. And second was variable cost. Sarah, what is fixed cost or total fixed cost? Total fixed cost is that that doesn't change no matter. It is not affected by the changes in level of activity. Very good. Total fixed cost is a cost which remains fixed at any level of activity. Even if level of activity increases or decreases, total fixed cost always remains constant. On the other hand, when we talk about variable cost, with the name, it's very much clear that variable cost basically varies in total. So when the level of activity increases, direct, um, the variable cost also increases in a direct proportion to that level of activity. Or when the level of activity decreases, variable cost also decreases and so on. So there are other type of cost behaviors as well, as far as your MA2 course is concerned. So we should be able to understand the variable cost behavior, fixed cost behavior, step cost, mixed cost, as well as there are other costs as well, which will going to be similar to that. And all these cost behavior you already have seen in MA1, but again, we will going to revise it in a bit detail. Um, so it will help you to brush up your memory. And uh, last but not the least, mixed cost. Basically, we know that it has a characteristics of both variable and fixed both at the same time. So we will going to see a method which we called high-low method. And this method basically we use to split up the mixed cost between their variable portion and fixed portion. Clear with chapter overview? Yes, sir. Okay. Then the topic list. First of all, the cost mm -hmm. behavior. What is the meaning of this? Cost behavior basically, is a study between cost and the level of activity. This is the study basically where we try to identify that how cost will behave, how cost can behave, cost can remain constant cost can increase or cost can decrease. So these three behaviors are possible. So how cost will going to behave when the level of activity changes? Some cost will increase with the level of activity, some will remain constant, some will going to decrease and so on. So cost behavior is a study where we see the relationship between cost 
and the level of activity. What is level of activity? Level of activity basically is any particular activity that we are performing in our production department or in our organization. So for example, if in January I produce 1000 units, this is one level of activity. Then in February, if I produce 2000 units, so how I can explain this, that I increase my level of activity from January to February. January, we were having lower level of activity. In February, we increase the level of activity. Now, how the cost or any cost will going to react to this change in level of activity, this study basically known as cost behavior. So cost behavior is the study of the relationship between cost and the level of activity. Okay, after that cost behavior pattern, there are lots of different patterns that we are going to discuss in a while. Last but not the least, very important for MA2 course, the high-low method. High-low method basically applies on mixed costs. Clear with this so far? Yes, sir. Okay. Cost behavior is the way in which costs are affected by changes in the volume of output and is important for planning, controlling, and decision-making. So again, cost behavior is the study of a relationship between cost and the level of activity. Mm. So when the level of activity changes, level of activity can be the output units, output hours, anything. So when the level of activity changes, how the cost will going to change. Mm. 